This video is sponsored by Zebronix. Hey guys, what's up? This is Nikhil from Dubmotions.com and welcome back to this brand new After Effects tutorial. So it has been forever since I've made a quick tip video on After Effects. So why not today? Let's do it. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create this really cool looking text animation in After Effects. If you guys are looking for a really high quality speakers or maybe a cool mechanical keyboard or a super responsive mouse or a dope looking cabinet for your next build, then make sure to check out Zebronics.com. From slim LED TVs to wireless headsets, they have it all at a really good and reasonable price. For more information, check out the link in the description below. Alright, so here we are in After Effects, so let's start by creating a new composition just like we always do and let's rename this to main comp just like we always do, but this time, let's make it caps. Oh, I mean to say caps, yep. 1920 into 1080, let's make this 60 frames, 10 seconds looks good and hit OK. So let's start by creating a new solid, so hit Ctrl Y on the keyboard to create a new solid, doesn't matter which color it is and let's rename this to BG let's add a fill pretty quick and make it white and then what I'm gonna do is select the text tool and just click on it so we have an empty text layer and then go into the text properties and there we have a thing called source text so what I'm gonna do is let's say I want to type type a text that can be maybe let's say big animation or something like that you can of course type in anything that you want so I'm gonna click on the stopwatch of the source text then I'm gonna go let's say 5 frames forward in time just like so and double click on this and type in my first text that can be B for big also I'm gonna hit ctrl Z first of all and make this geominist bold and make this 100 pixels just like so you know let's type in B and then also I'm gonna make this 0 and type in B go 5 frames forward in time double click on it and type in I go 5 frames forward in time double click on it and type in G for big then I'm gonna switch let's go to 5 frames forward first of all and let's switch to Geominus regular double click on this and type in A also select it and make it regular alright go 5 frames forward type in N 5 frames forward type in I 5 frames forward type in M 5 frames forward type in a 5 frames forward type in T 5 frames forward oh my gosh this is gonna take forever <laughs> let's go 5 frames forward type in O and at one second exactly we have the end for animation and also really quick I'm just gonna center this up as well so now we have something like this really cool right pretty cool effect though in itself and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the effects and preset panel and type in random fade so it's a built-in preset which comes with after effects so we don't need to you know download anything from outside so you can just drag and drop it onto the text layer go to animator 1 range selector 1 and there we have our start property so what I'm gonna do is go to maybe 10 frames set this keyframe right over here at 0 go to 1 second and set this all the way up to 100 also make sure right over here it's set to 0 and there we have this cool looking animation simple easy to create as you can see really really simple and easy to create and looks pretty complex though you can you know use it in creating some really nice title animations maybe and what number of things I don't know you can do hell number of stuff so this was the quick tip for today. I hope this was helpful to you guys and if it was smash that subscribe button. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and like. I know I said subscribe twice but you know what to do. You know the drill man. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Till then take care. Thank you so much for watching guys and don't forget to stay raw, stay creative.